Hey guys, this is day six of our Agvent calendar. For the month of December, we're gonna solve 31 Katrina Ag puzzles in 31 days. It says the four sections in this square have the same area. What's the missing length? If you wanna try this one, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. Since this is a square, we know the sides are equal length, and S squared is gonna be the area of this square. And to get the area of the square, we can add nine plus nine plus nine plus nine. 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 is equal to 36. And then we can square root both sides and we get S is equal to 6. So let's change these S's into 6's. Next, let's focus on this green triangle right here. We can pull it out. The area of a triangle is equal to 1 half base times height, where this right here is the height. And we have enough information to solve this height. The base of this triangle is equal to 6, so we can change the B into a 6. And then we were given that the area of this triangle is equal to 9. 1 half of 6h is equal to 3h. And then after we divide both sides by 3, we get h is equal to 3. So we can change this h into a 3. And let's put this triangle back. Now on top, since this piece is equal to 3, and we know the whole thing is equal to 6, that'll leave 3 for this part. And next, let's look at this triangle right here. Let's draw this line perpendicular to the base. And let's call it h. Now just like before, the base is 6 and the area is 9. So after we do all this work, the height will be 3. And let's put it back up here. And then we have one more triangle with a full side. So let's label this 6 and let's pull out that triangle. Let's draw the height of this triangle and call it h. And it's going to be the exact same math again. Since the base is 6 and the area is 9, the height is going to be equal to 3. And let's put that triangle back. Next, I'm thinking let's focus on these two triangles. This angle of the triangle is a right angle because it's the corner of the square. And this is also a right angle because it was perpendicular to the base. Next, let's take this top right here and extend it forever. And let's take this bottom and extend it forever. These two lines are going to be parallel because they're the top and the bottom of a square. Then if we draw this line right here, that's called a transversal. And since these two lines are parallel, that means this angle will equal this angle. Here it is easier to see. They're called alternate interior angles. Anytime these are parallel, alternate interior angles will be congruent. And that means these corresponding angles in these two triangles are the same. And since these two triangles have two corresponding angles, we know they're similar triangles. That means the sides will be proportional. And this three is half of the six, which means the base is half of the height. Same thing is gonna happen here. This base will be half the height. And half of three is 1.5. Let's put these back together and bring back everything else. Since this is 1.5 and the whole base is six, this last portion will be 4.5. And let's change it up here as well. So this six is gonna split into 1.5 and 4.5. And I don't think we need this anymore. Next, let's focus on these two triangles. They're both right triangles. And if we extend these two lines, they will be parallel. These two angles will be congruent. They're another pair of alternate interior angles. So once again, we have two similar triangles. And let's give them the same orientation. The sides of these triangles will be proportional. So let's call this A and let's set up a proportion. This height of three over the base of 4.5 will equal this height of A over the base of three. And to solve for A, we can cross multiply. 4.5 times A is 4.5A, and that'll be equal to three times three, which is nine. After we divide both sides by 4.5, we get A is equal to two. So let's update this A to be two and I don't think we need this stuff anymore. Let's smush the triangles back together and bring back everything else. We just discovered that this piece was two and the whole height is six, so this piece will be four. And now if we focus right here, we have a really nice looking right triangle. For those of you who know, it's a three, four, five right triangle, so this last side has to be a five. But we can also do Pythagorean theorem, and this is what it would look like right here. It'll give us 25 equals question mark squared, and then we can square root both sides to give us five is equal to question mark. And that is the answer to our question. This length is equal to five units. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. This was day six of our advent calendar. This is gonna be day seven. I have not looked at this yet. The equilateral triangle sits in the center of the semicircle. What's the area of the square? I'm not sure right now, but there's got to be enough information here to solve it. How exciting.